Welcome back to Notre Dame Day. I'm Jenna Liberto. Our next guest is Jeff Rhodes, Vice President for Research and Professor of Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering. Dr. Rhodes oversees all of Notre Dame's research infrastructure, including supporting programs in all areas of research, scholarship, and creative endeavors. Dr. Rhodes, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Is this your first Notre Dame Day? It is my first Notre Dame Day since welcome. we started. So, oh, it's great to be here, Jenna. Thank it's you for having me. It's great to talk to you again. Research and Notre Dame, it's just an exciting time to be here, especially when it comes to um, this area that you are charged with. So just tell me, first of all, before we get started, overall uh, impression now that you've been here about nine months. You know, it's, it's such an exciting time with the launch of our new strategic framework. I think all the faculty, staff and students are really energized. And I think, you know, what excites me is we're all pulling towards a common mission, right? And mm -hmm. this university's mission to be a force for good as it applies to research is so easy to kind of look at and say, how can we be a positive force for good in the world? And the research is just amplifying that and we're accelerating at a pace that really excites me right now. So you may have answered some of this question already, but really what drew you to come to the university yeah. to continue your career? Yeah, you know, I, I often tell people I think three things really attracted me to Notre Dame. You know, the first is undoubtedly the mission. Uh, you know, research is a hard subject. You wake up every morning and, you know, you hit your head against the wall until you have that breakthrough and then you feel really fulfilled. But, you know, one thing that makes that process of research a lot less painful is when you have a mission that gives you that motivation to get up every morning and try hard. And as I reflect on our faculty, our students, our staff, you know, the fact that we can wake up and say, listen, today we're going to do good in the world and we're going to try to improve the human condition, that makes it easy to get up and do the hard job that research is. So that's one. You know, the second, I think, is really opportunity. You know, Notre Dame has had this amazing research resurgence over the last 20 years, rapidly growing its research program. You know, research is in the original DNA of this university, if you think back to even some of Father Soren's work. But over the last 20 years, we've really accelerated that. And so the fact that to come in and to help Notre Dame get to its next level, uh, you know, to be this university, as our provost John McGreevy says, on par with, the, but distinct from, the most prestigious private universities in this country, that's a great opportunity for us and one that excites us. And then the third is family. You know, it's uh, my wife is a proud third generation alum. We were married on campus. The children were baptized here. So to be able to come to a place that already is part, felt part of our family, it's just been a great opportunity. Do you feel a little bit like an alum yourself? I do. You know, I'm still very proud of my of alma mater, course, but uh, it course. certainly feel part of the campus. Let's talk more about that trajectory. Um, we have uh, risen to this level when it comes to research universities to be in a group like the AAU, yep, yep. Um, leading among our peers. So what what is next for us as an institution when it comes to research and how do we fully live into that, being a force for good in the world yeah. when it comes to research? Yeah. So I think about you know, our, our strategic framework really provides, I think, a North Star of where we want to go. If we think about some of the initiatives that have already been announced and, and understand you know, efficacy-based uh, alleviation mechanisms for poverty or leaning into mental health and thinking about how, you know, Notre Dame can play a unique role, thinking about the mental health challenges that face society, but also thinking about how we can allow humans to flourish in new environments. Research related to topics like that, I think, are only going to accelerate. But we should also not overlook the fact that the strategic framework talks about an unprecedented investment in science and engineering. Mm. And I think, you know, this is a place where Notre Dame has a lot to offer the world in areas like sustainability and environmental research uh, is we think about making sure everyone has fresh water and food to eat uh, when they wake up, no matter where they are in this world, on a daily basis. And so if we can be the enablers of the research, working with partners around the world to make that happen, uh, which we're starting to do and I think can accelerate, it will be in a great position. A key, world, a key word you just mentioned is world. Yeah. We're not just charged with um, doing research for good here on campus yeah. or here in the South Bend community, although that's certainly yeah. true. But talk about your, um, your charge to take that to a global level. You know, I think you're right. You think about our Catholic mission, uh, our groundings in our a broader mission to do good in the world, and we recognize that the world in need is not just in South Bend, Indiana, though I think we have a lot to offer mm -hmm. to our community here and hope to double down on our research here. But we also need to think about the global south. Uh, you know, we need to think about developing nations and what we can help to do, accelerate, uh, to make sure that they don't make some of the missteps and can catch up quicker uh, in places where there's still technology gaps or policy gaps. Uh, and so I think we can do a lot to accelerate that. And 
you know, I'll feel in good shape uh, that we're starting to realize that when people appreciate overseas that Notre Dame's not just a cathedral in Paris, sure. right? That, that it's also a university in the Midwest that's doing global life-changing research, right? Yes, a very, very good point. What does success to you look like in five years? Where would What conversation would yeah. you like to be having five years from yeah. now? Yeah, so I think part of it is certainly reputational, and what we just talked about alludes to that. But I think also, more importantly to me, is impact, right? I hope... You know, the th one thing I'm proud about with the new framework is it mentions South Bend, Indiana. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a lot that we do in research, whether it's in science and engineering or the social science or the humanities, that can change the areas around us. And we've seen some of that. College of Architecture has done some beautiful work, forward-leaning, thinking about how we can change our community as an example. But at the same time, I want to have that global impact. And so I think the opportunity to take things that we're doing here and think about the future of democracy in Africa or South America, uh, or to think about how we can change health and well-being in areas that maybe don't have access to medical care in the same way as we have there. It takes research to enable that impact. And so I'll feel really good when we start to see the tip of that impact. And that complements the scholarly work that we do in other areas, the journal papers, the conference papers, other things that are often a measure of a successful research university. Jeff, thank you so much for talking with me, and uh, welcome to Notre Dame Day again. Thanks thank for you all so you're much. doing here. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Jenna. Pleasure. Take care.